soccer, the Scotland international forward Mo Johnston has rejoined Celtic from the French club Nantes in a deal worth £2 million. Johnston once said he'd never go back to Glasgow, but now he says he wants to return to Scotland for the sake of his daughter's education. For years, Mo Johnston's been one of the most colourful figures in British soccer. His scoring ability on the field was in no doubt, his exploits off it frequently making even bigger headlines. Now he's one of the richest players in Britain after a series of transfer deals which have finally taken him back to Celtic. Two years ago, he turned his back on the Scottish club, saying he'd never return. But today he came home for the sake of his girlfriend and their three-month-old daughter. Well, obviously, uh, the family. I've got the baby daughter now. We've got to look to the future. And as I say, Celtic came in for me. And I was delighted to join him. Um, you know, often when you go and buy players and you spend big money on them, you're very apprehensive of, of whether you've done the right thing or not. I have no doubts whatsoever that uh, this fellow will be successful here. If Johnson wasn't a millionaire before today's deal, he probably is now. Nantes will collect more than a million from Celtic. Johnson's personal terms will almost double the price. In return, Celtic will be expecting the sort of form which has taken him to a Scottish World Cup record. Eight in the competition. Optimism wasn't in short supply. The same couldn't be said for tickets. The 70,000 available, only half of what the fans required. So police sealed off every road to Hampden to ensure no one without one got through. Unless, of course, you happen to own the city's best vantage point for what is arguably the biggest club game in the world. Rangers chasing the treble showed total commitment, but Celtic were desperate to turn a disappointing season into a final triumph. But it was a tragic error by England fullback Gary Stevens, which gave Joe Miller a chance he simply couldn't miss. The Celtic support loved it, but Walters might have silenced them within a minute. Somehow, though, Celtic held on. It was a day Rangers' form deserted them. With four minutes left, Ali McCoist should have sent the match into extra time. Instead, it left Rangers dejected, their hopes of a treble gone. Tonight, it's the other half of Glasgow that's celebrating.